G'day guys, today's video is an organize with me. It's an organization haul, but instead of just sitting down and talking through what I got, I'm gonna show you how I've used it. It's from Kmart, Big W and Bunnings. Let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna start off in my three-year-old daughter's room and we got this in a Kmart delivery, which was perfect because it was quite heavy and it is their eight cube storage system. On their website, they have it vertical, but I decided to put this one horizontal. It was $35. It is essential though that you buy the specific cubes at Kmart. These cubes specifically fit the Kmart storage system, so the Bunnings ones are just too big. So I went with a very neutral blue and black, and so it was two for $5. So it worked out to be $2.50 each, and it was the same price for the black. So $20 for the cube, so all up it cost $55, which has been fantastic. We just had to organize this. The before was super messy, as you can see. It was just inhibiting her independence. Previously at our old house, we had shelving and she has been dressing herself independently in the morning for so long now. But here with the mess, it was just hard to find clothes. It was hard for her to put away her clothes. So we just had to improve the environment. And I am so happy with this. She's back to getting dressed in the morning. She's back to putting her own clothes away. So that's why I had to buy this. So when I got the flat pack, I got everything out. I just spread it all out. I like to use this chip and dip tray from Kmart. It's $2 and it just means that I can see all the screws and everything I need. Well, that was lucky. It was the first one I picked up. I have left this in here. Don't make the mistake I did. As you can see here, I broke these dowels. I was just too rough with it when I was trying to put it together. Thankfully, YouTube to the rescue. How do you fix a broken dowel? Someone had thankfully created a whole video on it. So if it happens to you, don't worry, there's a fix for you. Now this last step is really important. Before you hammer on these four squares, the actual structure is really not stable at all. It is really kind of unsteady. It doesn't hold its shape at all. So it's really important that you hammer these on. It is crazy how many times I hammered my thumb, but do you know what? I did it, I persevered, so you can too. So then I started stacking them, kind of Mary Kondo filing system, not folding it how she folds it, but just started like that, just to give her a head start so that she can easily see what clothes are in there. Then I backed the cupboard, hubby helped me move it and then i put all these labels on these labels are free they're on the internet i will leave the link below so you can go directly there i just found these black and white ones that just won't age and i think they look really good they're really classy they've got american english and uk english words so you know sweater jumper they've got the variations. Initially I used the pegs to just see how it was going and if I'd move it around and then I put Velcro dots on. Then on the side I've got some tubs, they were from the reject shop, they were six for twenty dollars. Alrighty, off to the laundry now. In that same order I thought I'd use space bags for the first time to get the doona and the flannelette sheets away. We don't have a ton of space in our linen cupboard, I need to fully organize it. But at the moment, I just wanted to put away the stuff we're not using. And I was so surprised how much I could fit in there. Like, look at this one. Yes, I can fit like a queen size doona or I could fit all these flannelette sheets. I couldn't use the Dyson V6 to attach to the bag, but we have an Electrolux as well, so I just did that. I must admit though, the Electrolux was so awkward trying to use it and move it around. I just prefer those stick vacuums. But I won't give up, though I know it's tough. 
so here I am just with our puzzle container. It is in a magazine holder from Kmart. This is $4.50 in white. It's really easy to keep clean. When you first see it, it's really dirty with all the dust, but it just wipes off. These clear cases are fantastic. They are $3, but if you want an even cheaper option, then just document folders that have the studs on the front are super easy. This one here, you can get heaps of document folders. I really like the plastic ones. I just feel like they're a bit more sturdier. So I'm really happy with those. Before I grab this out, I wanted to show you how high this fruit container is. If you compare it to the three liter milk, it is really quite high. At the moment, we've got some salary in there. 4.5 liters, it is $9, and it just really helps to keep fruit fresh. It worked really well with the pears, and for the salary, it's worked really well too. And like I was saying, it is 15 centimeters in height, so it does have to go in our top shelf. There is just a snack ready to go for when the kids say for the hundredth time that day, I'm hungry, can I have a snack? Back in the laundry again, we just weren't using the vertical space in here. We're in a rental, so we are gonna move again. Um, so the more organized I can be, the easier it will be for us to move. Last time we did one truck for a day and then the rest we just moved by our cars. So when they were organized in the containers, it was so easy. So these plastic storage drawers are 8.3 liters. They $8 from Big W. I didn't get all the stickers off the first time, so I used the good old hack that we love to use here in Australia, which is using eucalyptus oil, and it brings off that sticky residue, no problems. And as you can see here, these light globes, they were in two containers, they were taking up quite a bit of space, and now look at them, they just easily fit in one drawer. And of course, labeling is so important. Previously, I've been a bit lazy with labeling, um, and it's just never last. So now I'm just really intentional. If I organize something, I label it. Because if I don't label it, the system doesn't last within our family. This Dymo label maker, I just bought at the shops when it was on special for a back to school special so they'll be coming on soon and I've got a spare box I'm just not sure what I'm going to put in it there but like I said I have to organize the linen cupboard so I'm sure it'll get filled up soon all right back in the kitchen so in this drawer we have a plate holder from Ikea I used to use it with like the plastic plates and bowls for the kids but now I found with the saucepan lids it's so much better and this drawer is staying quite organized we have one drawer with like the saucepans and then the other drawers for the woks and the frying pans before we had dedicated drawers we've wasted a lot of time trying to shove it in but now we've got the saucepans in one and the frying pan and the wok in the other it just works so well so I bought another file holder this was seven dollars um, Kmart's got it in black or white I went with black because at the time I just didn't realize they had white but I am happy with the black so as you can see this cupboard originally was not organized at all it was just a mess um, the key to keeping this organized though is to have a kids lock on it so that they can't go in and pull out these items which is a fun thing to do in our house then i gave it a clean with the sunny citrus method I find this smell really fresh it's awesome for casserole dishes it would work with baking trays too i initially put one in and then i thought actually i've got enough casserole dishes the only way to keep it organized is just to chain it closed i bought these from bunnings they're in a three pack nine dollars fifty then this next little haul I grabbed from Bunnings. So we needed some secateurs. I know we're renting, but I just wanted to make sure that the branches from the trees on our property aren't just dropping on our neighbors. So that's why I've got the secateurs there. And we managed to fill up the whole green bin full of branches. And also I bought some gloves too when I was at Bunnings, um, purple and pink. So there's no mixing them up. These are just for when I'm cleaning, not for in the kitchen, not for doing the dishes. Um, and that's really helped. I think just to put them on and get cleaning. I haven't always been a glove wearing person person but I have found especially during this pandemic with all the hand sanitizing and the hand washing that my hands just weren't coping so I've got a pink and a purple one and now whenever I'm cleaning I just put them on get into it from Bunnings I got these all set I got the two horizontal ones next to them they're nine dollars 28 I think and they have made a massive difference for our under the kitchen sink odd I know but I do like to keep the watercolors um, under the sink it's just easier for me so this is an old fridge container so I put it all in there and I think under the sink looks so much better it was one of those jobs I've been putting off and yet it was done like this Thanks for watching guys. If you want to get organizing, I've got my marathon organizing video there, which I did at the start of the year and I'm still going. It's a process, but life has definitely been made easier the more organized I am. And this is a haul I did. This was a lot of fun. Bye.